Deacon. Back at the point. Flashman hands it into the side of the net. McKeegan couldn't handle it. It's Posta. Tried to throw it out front. He took a body check in the Pete's turn it up ice. Over center is Brad Aiken. He throws it in the corner. Todd Gregory quickly after it, watching him as Melanson. Right out front for Murray. His shot. And Vitucci's got that one as well. So Nick Vitucci with some key saves here in the first half of the first period. Rob Murray being robbed again. And now we have a little mix-up right in front of the net. Rob Murray. And it looks like Poza taking swings. Er, make that Dallas Aikens. I thought it was 23, but it was 22. <laughs> and the helmet of, of Dallas Aikens flew apart. Two linesmen just standing back, watching the two of them slug it out right in front of the net. Both te teams have... Boy, Kevin, this is a 12-rounder. Boy, uh, going to be two tired hockey players at the end of this. Now the linesmen move in. The pieces of uh, Dallas Aikens' helmet is strewn about the ice. There you see Poza. Of course, this is the first game of three for the Pete's. A busy weekend. They go to Sault Ste. Marie for Friday night and Sudbury for Sunday. So a big weekend for the Pete's. And uh, Marley's a pretty good opposition to come here, after, as you said earlier, playing on a, what, seven-game winning streak. That's right, seven wins in a row for the Marley's. Keep in mind, the last game the Pete's played was that 3-2 victory, an exhibition game against Team Finland here at the Peterborough Memorial Center. You mentioned the Pete's playing three games in four nights. The Marlies, this is the first of four games in six nights. So sometimes it seems that after Christmas, that schedule gets tougher because I think we alluded to it earlier. There, there certainly was not a difficult schedule in the first couple of months for the Pete's, but now 